What's up guys, Derek, more plates, more dates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Henry Cavill and his physique transformation, what I think he took to achieve his body transformation for Man of Steel, playing Superman, as well as his new role in The Witcher that's coming up on Netflix to be released in December, which is getting a lot of hype. So the main scene that a lot of people refer to when they see Henry Cavill's crazy physique transformation is this scene here where he's stealing clothes as Clark Kent. This is where by far his physique looks the most peaked. It looks the biggest and perhaps not the leanest, but by far the most muscular. And if we go back and basically when I assess if somebody is natural and what they're taking, my reference point is not what their physique looks like at the time necessarily it's based upon their past physiques that they had achieved their body composition that they sustain naturally year round and what they normally look like you know without really trying so if we look at him here and then we compare back to the start of his career in immortals this is a good indication of a baseline in my opinion. So this was several years ago. This is back, I believe in 2010, 2011-ish. Might have even been filmed in 2009. I'm not really sure, I'd have to check on that. But in this movie, Henry is probably the leanest he's been of any movie in my opinion. And he's not necessarily jacked by any means, but he's definitely in good shape. He definitely prepared for this role and he looks good. You can't argue that he has a good physique in this movie. And some of the images are a lot more flattering based on the lighting, just the way they're capturing him in the moment, flexing to do a movement or something like that, or they're really filtered. They make him look way more jacked than he is. But still, this is the leanest he's been in any role to date and obviously he's sporting significantly lower amount of muscle mass but with that being said this gives us a very good baseline reference point of what he's capable of looking like when he tries to peak for a role and this is way back at the start of his career before he even tried to undertake a very very strict uh, bodybuilding regimen for preparing for a superhero role so here i look at this as the baseline and then i move forward to the Man of Steel role, at first glance, when I see these images here, I think, okay, he must have been on something, even if it was nothing crazy, just a bit of test or something like that. That's what I assume when I compare these images here. But when you actually go behind the scenes and see what he looked like training for Man of Steel, you start to see that it's not as significant of a difference as you probably thought. And a lot of it could just be the fact that, well, first of all, it's a movie, so they're going to do the most flattering things they can. You've even seen in Captain America, they'll use CGI to special effects to fake what the physique looks like and make you look smaller or bigger in certain scenes. Did they do that in Man of Steel? I don't think so, but... With that being said, like looking at him preparing for Man of Steel, like these are not film edited quality videos. This is just him training and preparing for it. And to me, this doesn't look any better than he was in Immortals. Like he's starting to pack on a bit more size, but it's not necessarily unnatural progression in my opinion, the way he looks. And obviously he has a very strict bodybuilding style regimen, or at least it's focused on hypertrophy to try and gain as much size to portray Superman accurately. But when you actually see him behind the scenes, it doesn't look as significant as this one scene portrays. And this is the one scene that everyone refers to as, okay, he must be on something here. But when you actually take a closer look at his body fat, first of all, he's fatter than he was in The Immortals. And he is holding a bit more size. He's probably, you know, five to 10 pounds more muscle, but he's also holding five to 10 pounds more of fat, in my opinion, too. So this is almost, to me, like indicative of very, very, very 
perfect lighting circumstances with a good pump going into this and just the film quality making him look significantly better than he actually is because when you actually look at him behind the scenes it's a lot less flattering than you would think and looking at him training for it again like these are pumping up behind the scenes to prepare for these shots and you know to me this looks natural like i don't think this is indicative of performance enhancing drug use i don't think it's anything that couldn't be achieved naturally i think he just peaked for that one shot in that movie where he got a pump behind the scenes, the lighting, everything he's doing, the actions related in the shot itself have him flexing while he's running around grabbing stuff. There's, you know, actions associated that are making him activate muscle fibers that make it look like he's leaner than he is as well. And then it's just, you know, the perfect circumstance of, you know, filming. And this is indicative of like a very natural bulk, in my opinion, where he had to gain size and he put on a decent amount of fat in the process it wasn't all lean weight like with chris hemsworth or something like that where you could tell it was just like pure lean tissue with a bunch of intracellular water retention from testosterone or something related something like that with cavill you can tell that the guy's in a surplus and he's trying to gain as much size as he can but the natural progression of somebody who is building off of a natural base and is increasing size naturally, they aren't going to gain insane amounts of muscle with complete absence of fat or a near complete absence of fat. Like the amount of mass he's gained here is very indicative of natural progression in my opinion. And this is the peak of his physique in my opinion. Like the Man of Steel, that one scene is where he looks the most questionable in terms of could this be enhanced could this be you know indicative of steroid use and when you compare him to his role in immortals again in the one scene his body fat doesn't look completely different but when you actually look at him preparing for the role himself without optimal lighting conditions and without everything and you compare it to the behind the scenes of the immortals he's definitely in better shape for the immortals in my opinion in terms of a conditioning aspect again he's not shredded in the immortals either but he's significantly leaner than he is in any other role he's done to date in my opinion even the oil rig scene in man of steel you can see here ripping off the door walking through like he barely has visible abs here and this is like a scene that was included on purpose to show how muscular he is obviously he wouldn't be walking around shirtless covered in oil or water or whatever he's covered in here to accentuate everything or covered in sweat to make it look leaner and show all the highlights of his definition and whatnot and when this tower falls on him and he's just flexing like crazy, this, it's nothing that I don't think is indicative of natural progression. So moving forward to Batman versus Superman, his physique looks even more natural in my opinion. And he's lost muscle mass for this role in my opinion relative to what he looked like in Man of Steel. Here he is less muscular. Perhaps it's just a less flattering angle. He's not actually doing something like, you know, running around pumped up and grabbing something. But typically if you're going to include a shirtless scene, they're going to make sure he's peaked for the shot with a pump in optimal lighting conditions i doubt they would have put him in suboptimal conditions to take this shot so just comparing it pound for pound with the man of steel shot and batman versus superman's physique has regressed and even more indicative of natural being a natural in my opinion if anything you could argue that perhaps he was enhanced in man of steel but just based on the difference in body composition and how much fat he gained to gain that size i think it was naturally achieved and moving forward to justice league again very very natural looking here nothing crazy enhanced looking about his physique and significantly downsized from the man of steel role at least in these images we've seen in that one scene where again that one scene that everyone refers to the stealing the clothes scene where he looks way more sauce than in any other clip he's ever done in his life over the four years or however long it's between these movies three years whatever it is going from this where probably 20 pounds heavier than he was in Immortals and going forward to this here in Justice League here he looks like he's nearly the same weight as he was in Immortals maybe like 10 pounds heavier with pure fat no additional muscle growth 
So what I chalked that up to is just, you know, natural bodybuilding progression and peaking for his roles as Superman. Naturally, the only one I would potentially be on the fence about is the Man of Steel role. In this one, 2000 and when was this movie? 2017. I definitely think he's natural here. Downsized significantly from Man of Steel. And moving forward to The Witcher. This is the scene that people think, okay, there, he's got to be on something because this is where you've never seen a Cavill physique like this before this is where his you know dealt an arm like he looks like he could be stepping on a bodybuilding stage if he lost another like 10 to 15 pounds of fat probably like he looks massive here now whether this is just the angle it's some sort of like editing and cgi i don't really know because again this is another one of those scenes much like the shirtless scene in man of steel where he's stealing the clothes that on the surface in the scene it looks insane and you would think okay there's no way this is natural but when you actually look at the behind the scenes he doesn't look anything i was going to his instagram for him preparing for his role in the witcher and nothing enhanced about him in these in these uh images like here he looks you know very soft again maybe a bit bigger than he normally is but just really really soft i don't know if it's just that like to me that's very indicative of natural progression where if you do a bulk phase to try and gain as much mass as possible for a roll you have like, like a nearly parallel increase in body fat at the same time you can't just I wouldn't say they're equal, obviously, but I mean, relative to somebody who's enhanced, who can preferentially pack on significantly more lean tissue relative to fat mass, this is indicative of somebody who's bulking up naturally, in my opinion. Again, this image here is the only one I would say is a bit more questionable, but he has perfect downlining here. He probably just worked out. All these images are taken at the gym that he's training at for this role. And here, again, he's never been really lean, but certainly not leaner here than he was in Immortals. It's probably, you know, 14% body fat here, 14, 15. And here, just this is the most recent shot and just super fluffy, like no definition whatsoever, no separation, no striations, just looking like full bear mode bulk, you know? Like that's what I see when I look at this and that's what I perceive when I look through these images of his progression. And going to men's health, you can actually see him training with his trainer for his role in The Witcher. And this is a behind the scenes of what his physique actually looks like for this role. Not a perfectly lit uh, scene with, you know, whatever kind of trickery they're doing with the film. This is what he looks like in the gym for this movie role. And to me, he looks soft. He looks like he could lose another 10 to 15 pounds of fat if he wanted to peak his physique. He doesn't look anything impressive to me. He doesn't look any more muscular than he did in previous roles in Man of Steel. In The Immortals, he still had better condition than in any other role he's done. To me, I'm not trying to knock the physique, obviously. He looks good. Like He's a, he's a fit guy and he's making progress to prepare for these roles. I'm just getting at this at the coming at this from the perspective of somebody who's trying to evaluate what he took for preparing for these roles. I don't believe that he took anything, to be honest. Like we look at him here. This is for supposedly what is his peak muscle size to date. He claims he has gained progressively improved his physique for every single role he's done over his career. That's his claim, not mine. And just looking at him here, like this is him literally working out and no trickery with the camera, no, you know, lighting crazy things, no CGI. And, you know, he looks like a normal, natural guy who's in a bulk phase, in my opinion. And again, just much softer than he was in The Immortals. And that's what I want to stress here is that to bulk up, he gains a decent amount of fat. Like the guy goes from like 12% at his leanest, maybe in Immortals, he was like 10% to 12% or something. And it looks like he's getting up to like 15 to 20% for bulking up in some of these situations. So to me, to gain the mass necessary to play these roles and getting up to like 15% plus, to me, that's more indicative of natural progression than anything. And this scene in The Witcher where he just looks cranked out of his mind, I don't know if that is just editing because he certainly doesn't look like this when they show him in the gym training for this exact role but that remains to be seen when we actually see this show come uh come out on netflix because obviously we're going to get a better look at what his physique actually looks like once we actually watch some episodes like this is like a two minute clip that i can draw from here with one shot of nearly shirtless so obviously there's going to be more shots of his physique once we actually get to see the show so perhaps i'll do an update when that comes out and let you guys know if i've changed my mind or what i think at that current time but based on what i see here this to me looks 
significantly enhanced, but I don't think this is indicative of his actual physique at this time. I think this is some sort of the angle, perhaps. Maybe he's just a master of angles. Maybe this is just the way his arms look when he's pumped up and he has good arm genetics and a decent deltoid. <laughs> I don't really know. And he, we obviously know he's soft when we look at him in his training footage. The guy is very, very soft, very minimal muscle separation and doesn't look to have gained unnatural amounts of muscle tissue relative to his previous roles and nor is his progression indicative of somebody who's using steroids in my opinion and if we evaluate his physique in uh the second trailer of the witcher we can see with a lot more transparency what his physique actually looks like this is supposed to be a flattering shot of him obviously or else they wouldn't have included it. And here, to me, there's, again, even in the most flattering of circumstances, zero muscle separation, no definition, just looking like, you know, bare bulk mode here. And this is, again, indicative of natural progression in somebody who's trying to pack on size at the expense of gaining some additional fat as a natural, in my opinion, and definitely not indicative of performance-enhancing drug use, in my opinion. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And even if you don't really have an opinion, the comments are welcome because they really help the algorithm. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. If you could also like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Otherwise, you won't get updated when I post new videos. The notification bell is actually apparently really necessary to click now. A very small percentage of people subscribed have actually clicked it apparently. And you're probably not going to get me in the sub box every single time if you don't click that bell. So I highly recommend you do that as well. Sign up to the newsletter video description below as well if you want to get notified when I publish new articles that are essentially organized formats of my videos with far more elaborate detail with all the scientific references cited that I refer to in my videos. If you want to delve further into the research yourself, there's a lot of incentive there to sign up to the newsletter because you're not going to get the level of detail you get in the articles I send you from the videos. They're just, you know proofread and organized and concise subsections with all the citations included for you to look at yourself so also follow me facebook twitter snapchat and instagram instagram at more plates underscore more dates thank you guys for watching talk to you soon